independent Better recognize I'm a king's descendant If they wish to end us, then I bring the vengeance You can't buy me with your veins of pendants Cause I'm independent Better recognize I'm a king's descendant If they wish to end us, then I bring the vengeance You can't buy me with your veins of pendants DIY gang, 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 DIY gang. Welcome to the DIY gang guide, your independent guide to the music industry. I'm Shaldo, but you should know that already. Today we're going to talk about BBC introducing. Do you know what it is? Are you with, have you uploaded your music to them? If not, then I think this video is for you. Now, BBC Introducing is a fantastic service we have over here in the UK. It allows the unsigned, the undiscovered artist, musician to start getting their radio play. It's a journey you're supposed to be building, okay? So, for example, let's say you're an Oxford-based artist. You upload your music to the BBC Introducing Uploader. The team over at BBC Oxford will listen if they like it they might play it on the show, which is on a Saturday. They'll play that. You hopefully get a little bit of feedback from them. You then upload your next track, you upload your next track, so on and so forth. This can be over a period of months, over a year, maybe a little longer. The idea is that if the music keeps resonating, if it keeps getting played, if they like it, they'll then push it forward to the bigger station, to Radio 1 Extra, to Radio 1, etc., etc. They're supposed to champion you. That's what they're meant to do. When the festival seasons come around, they have BBC introducing stages at the festivals at Glastonbury, at Reading, at Leeds. They can push you forward for that if your music's getting the right sort of radio play. There are, um, mar there are seminars such as the BBC Amplify, which just went by, which I was lucky enough to speak at. If you're a BBC introducing artist, you can get an invitation to those sort of things and get some real, very, very good knowledge. So essentially, you're on a journey with BBC Introducing and I would fully recommend that you sign up for this service and upload your music because why not? It, there's no bad, there's no negatives to it, there's no reason not to. You can get some good radio play, you can get some good support. Personally, I owe a lot to BBC Introducing over in Oxford. Despite not living there anymore, I started my music career in Oxford and the team have been fantastic. From the very first track I ever recorded properly, I uploaded it to the BBC Introducing uploader and they played it and I've built a relationship with BBC Oxford and they've pushed me forward for a lot of great opportunities. So I would wholeheartedly recommend that you upload your music. It's very, very easy. All you do is go to bbc.co.uk forward slash introducing, have a look at the website, upload your music. I believe you can upload two tracks every 30 days. Now, I think this works a lot better for regional artists than for London ones because there is a lot of musicians in London. So it's a lot more difficult, but if you are in a far-flung location, such as, well, off the top of my head, I mean Southampton, it's not far-flung, but just off the top of my head, they have BBC introducing Solon. Um, so, number one, you're going to have a lot less competition than you would in, in London, that's a fact, because, you know, it's London. But number two, it's a lot easier to go to the station and get to know the people involved. And I always recommend putting a name to the face. Don't just email back and forth or tweet if you can, take the time to actually meet the people who are behind these services, shake some hands, make them aware of you, so that when the music does come along, they know who you are, you know? Um, but essentially, if you are in a regional location, I do believe you have a better chance. So sign up, upload your music. You can do two every 30 days. What will happen is it will go up onto the uploader. You write a description. You include the people who are involved with the track, the producers, if you've got any features, that kind of stuff. The relevant BBC introducing team will have a listen to your music and you will get an email saying if a producer or if somebody from the team has listened. You'll also get an email if your music has been played. If you keep getting played, they may invite you in to do an interview. They may invite you in to do a live session. Like I said, there is a process to it and the more music you keep uploading and the more music you're getting played and the better relationship you're building with your BBC introducing team the more likely it is that you're going to get pushed forward for opportunities and that you're going to see a process of growth now don't rely just on that I'll be honest don't rely just on that because it's not going to it it, it may happen but it's less likely that it's going to happen just based on that so do your other things as well have other avenues but this is a great avenue to go down and I would wholly recommend that you sign up to the BBC introducing 
um, the service. So like I said, it is bbc.co.uk forward slash introducing. Check out the website, have a good read of it, get your head around it and upload some music. On um, one caveat, by the way, I'd recommend making sure that your music is of the best possible quality. Listen to what is being played on the radio. I'd also recommend listening to the to the station that you're planning to upload your music to. Have a listen to one of the shows on a Saturday. Listen to the sort of music that's being played and the quality more than anything else. Don't listen to the genre so much because um, in Oxford, for instance, it's a lot of bands, it's a lot of singer-songwriters, there's not a whole lot of rappers getting played on the show, but that doesn't mean that they won't play it, it just so happens that not a, not a lot of rappers upload their music to BBC Introducing Oxford. That's just the way it is. But listen to the quality of the music, how it sounds on the radio, does your music sound like that? If it doesn't, make sure it does before you send your music across. That's not to say that they won't play rough stuff, they do, but you wanna put yourself in the best possible position. So make sure to get your music mixed, Sorry, make sure to get your music recorded properly first on a good quality mic, in a studio if you can afford it, mixed properly, mastered to radio standard, and then upload it. If you can't afford that, just try and get it to the best possible quality you can and upload it. Just bear in mind that it may hurt your chances a little bit more than if the music was of the best possible quality. But that's not to say that they won't play it because they are trying to champion unsigned, independent, under the radar artists. And you may not have the budget to make your music the best possible quality. Lord knows, my first song wasn't the best possible quality, but they played it anyway. And as things kept going, I kept uploading better and better quality tracks and they kept supporting. So, you know, it is a process. Just try and put your foot on that path in the right possible way with the best possible music. So please do sign up to BBC Introducing, get your music up there, start getting your radio play and start on your journey with the BBC. It's fully recommended. As always, I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, any advice or any topics you want me to cover in a future video, just leave your comment down in the comment box below. Share this with any aspiring artists you think may benefit from the advice. And as always, keep it independent. Keep it DIY gang. Peace.